So we're gonna pick up where we left off, a rough, low poly model of our baby chick. Let us, you know what, let's make our eyeball. So let's tab into edit mode. Let's add a cube, okay, basic cube. Um, I'm gonna call this eyeball. I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna add a modifier, okay? Let's add the subdivision surface modifier. Bump this up to three. Sure, go ahead, give it a four, see what happens. Um, and then right click and shade it smooth, all right? Let's scale this on the Y to bring it in like so, and then maybe scale it down a little bit, and then let's bring it up and place it on our eyeball, okay? Now the game becomes eye fitting. Move that out. We can scale this a little bit more. And this is this is all this is all to taste. Alright, now let's shift D to duplicate this. Let's scale this down about there. And then let's grab it there. And then we can grab it on the Y and bring it up. Alright, let's get some materials on these sons of guns. Let's come up here and make sure that material previews is on. So everything should be kind of whitish. That's because we don't have any materials, but let's add some materials right now. First thing I'm gonna do uh, with my pupil selected, I'm gonna get new, I'm gonna call this pupil because I can, I'm gonna bring this down to blackness, okay? I'm gonna bring roughness down and you can see right there, now that it has that kind of glossy eye feel to it, you wanna take that further, bump the specular up, okay? Um, you bring it all the way down, it's gonna have that matte finish. You bring it all the way up, it's gonna have that, that beautiful gloss that eyes tend to have. Everyone save your work. Okay, we got that, and we got that. Now, let's work on our eyeball. Let's give this a material, and we'll call this eyeball. Let's make this white, just like that. And we'll bring this roughness down, just like that. Look at that, we got, we got a couple eyeballs happening. All right, some personality going. You know, you can nudge this and tweak this however you need to in whichever way works best for you. First things first, what do we do? That's right. If you said save your work, you are on fire today. You're batting a thousand, okay? Control S, save that son of a gun. Okay, so now, now that we have our eyeball, I'm gonna come back over here into solid mode and let's do some texture painting, y'all, okay? So we're gonna make a texture and we're gonna paint it onto our model and if you want to know what that process is called you guessed it it's called texture painting so let's click texture paint up here so we're in the texture paint workspace and you think what is texture paint we have to uv unwrap this so we can tell blender or any 3d system what is the correct way to map a two-dimensional coordinate onto a three-dimensional object if we switch to edit mode here and we hit A to make sure that everything's selected, well, first things first, let's apply our mirror, okay? So in object mode, we're gonna come over here and we're going to apply our mirror. Now, if we jump back into edit mode, our entire chick is selected, great. Now, let's hit U for UV unwrap and do something called smart UV project. You leave these defaults, that's fine, don't worry about that. And now you can see over here, it intelligently unwrapped our shape. And you can see we got some beak action here. I think that's the other side of the beak. There's some body. So now you think, okay, well now I can paint. So I'm gonna come here, get some paintbrush, and let's make this green, and I'll start painting. And you say, what the heck? What's going on? Why am I, am I not painting? I UV unwrapped it here. Look right here. Missing materials, textures detected. Okay, we have to give this thing a texture on which to paint, which we haven't done yet. We've just unwrapped it, okay? You should see something right here that says there should be a plus sign and you should have the option to add a new texture slot, okay? This has always been in there, but you can see I'm using Blender 4 and it's not there and it's like, what the hell, Blender? So you might think, well, should I come down to texture and do something here? And it's like, nope, that's not the answer either. It, while it was here forever, they've since moved it up. So if you don't see it, you know, you might be for whatever reason, if you're in texture paint right here, now it's right here. So this, you have to hit texture slots is up here. If you're not using Blender 4, this right here is gonna be right here. This should be in between draw and brushes. As a beginner, you're gonna come up against this all the time because there's tiny little tweaks and nuances and subtle changes that no one tells you why and no one tells you that it's even happening until you watch a tutorial and the thing you need to get there isn't even there. Okay, so all of the texture painting videos that your tutorials 
from ever until right now when this is released, the, the texture slot is going to be right here. So hit texture slot. And now we're going to add, hit this plus button. Okay. And we want a new base color. If you're not, if you're using anything before Blender 4.0, everything I'm doing here is going to be right here. So we're going to hit the plus base color. And then I'm going to, I type your name in. I wrote baby chick base color. And then the width, I double the width. All right. And this is every tutorial I've ever seen. And as I was learning texture painting, they just doubled this. They made this, uh, 2048. And it just, it increases the resolution of your, um, of your texture. And it just gives you the ability to have that much more detail color. Now here's where we're going to make our baby chick. Okay. And then we get our little yellow right now. Maybe like that. Okay. And I'm going to hit okay. And there we go. All right. We got our chick. We got our texture. We got our yellow. We got our chick. Everyone save your work. Let's set up an environment texture. Okay. So hit the world and then hit open and then go to uh, wherever you have downloaded uh, your environment texture. I'm using a meadow from Polyhaven. These are free for the world. Polyhaven does great work, a spectacular resource that you should use often. So thank you, Polyhaven, for making these freely accessible to the world. We are grateful. Once you've done that, if you click the world, now you're going to see this. You're going to see the actual meadow. Okay. But I don't want that. So if you come to film, just hit transparent. And now we get the benefits of the lighting without having to see the background. Save your work. Now comes the fun part. All right. We got our chick. We got our color. We got our texture. We're shucking and jiving, bobbing, and we even having a blast saving our work. And now let's go to particle systems and add a new particle system. Hey, look at that. I don't see anything. Um, but when you click hair, now you got some, now there's some, there's some stuff happening. Okay. Let's bump this up to 5,000, which is crazy. And then let's bring this down to 1.8 for starsies. And then you can see, well, this is, this is still a little splotchy right here. So is there anything we can do? And the answer is yes. If you come down to children, we want to turn interpolated children on and then bam. Now look at that. Now we got a little chick with a bunch of little fur and he's freaking adorable. Okay. Now display amount and render amount are here. I've seen it 30 and I've seen it 35. You can bump this up to whatever you need to. Be careful. If you bump it up too much, you could slow your computer down. I'm an EV, uh, so you can follow along with this. When we render, we're going to plug it into cycles, and then it, it's just, it really looks fun and fur like. But for the time being, I'm just going to keep this here just so we can, so everyone can follow along. Okay. And if you got here, save your work. So let's click over into shading, and I'm going to add a new material. You know, I'm going to call this hair. So just change principled BSDF here to principled hair BSDF. Okay. And now you can pull this out like that and make it an image color like that here. And we want to make this image texture, baby chick base color. Okay. So now instead of having it be the principled BSDF, it now, now it's for hair specifically. It's just, it's just a little bit more optimized, subtle, but important. So now if we come back into the particle settings, we can come here. And whereas we say our material, we don't want this material. We want hair and we should. Now we might need to click over into cycles. Uh, one thing you're going to notice is that the, our whole chickadee is covered in down, downy fur. I'm going to say down because it's called down. It's not technically fur. It's, it is technically a feather, but it's down, right? It's just that super soft protective coating that kind of insulates the baby chick. So if you click over into weight paint, so let's go into particle system and just click this computer screen. All right. So that takes it away from our viewport. All right. I'm going to hide my eyeballs as well. Now, all you need to do is draw on here and I want to cover this completely. I want everything to be in red. Everywhere you see red will have no fur at all. Okay. And that's, that's exactly what we're looking for with this. And, and then if you hit F, you can shrink the size of your, of your, of your brush, of your weight painting. This is called weight painting. All right. So we've essentially taken our feathers off of our legs. All right. Now let's do the same for the beak. 
And then let's get some inside these eyeballs as well, like that. And obviously red is nothing. And then the gradation from blue to red is a little bit. Okay, so now we have weight painted where we want our feathers to be. Particles, let's bring them back so we can see them. Nothing happened. Hey, that's no problem. Uh, we need some vertex groups, okay? And this is going to get a, this might be a little confusing. It's okay, guys. I promise you'll be okay. Click on density. Click on group, okay? And you're going to see whoop, the inverse of what uh, we were doing. And that's, uh, don't get me wrong, he definitely looks fancy. I've, where Now, where have I seen boots like this before? Oh, that's where I've seen boots like this. So if we come up to weights, just hit invert. Perfect. That's perfect. Okay, so now if we turn our eyeballs back on, and then let's jump into edit mode. And what I'm going to do here is select this vert and then just hit control plus, 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 plus. Let's go to material, new material. We'll call this material beak and let's make it orange okay and then let's hit assign and then let's do the exact same thing for the legs and i'm going to assign that as well so now if we go back into object mode okay we got a little baby check okay so let's save our work okay so now if we jump into particle edit we can edit these individual hairs okay and so you can see you probably want to do something here and get this going up. It was kind of hiding the eyes. Okay. And we're going to need to do it on both sides. Okay. And then let's just see how that looks. All right. And now in front view, we can see our eyeballs. Okay. And we've given them some, you know, some fun little, some, some fun, fun little eyebrows. So if you hit T, you're going to see you got options. Okay. And we got option to cut. So let's, where was that? Where was that scraggler? It was here. Let's cut this right there. Okay. So we just cut that out and you can make it a little shorter at the bottom. If you want to, that's no problem. And then come to object mode and see how that looks. Okay. So maybe we cut some here. And if you go too short, you can always lengthen it back up, right? You can, you can add length if you need to get it to a point where you like it and then save your work. All right. And there we go. We got some nice little, yeah, nice, nice little, <laughs> nice little fur with an adorable little chicken. Okay. In the next one, we're going to, we'll rig our chick and we'll get them hopping around and tweeting. Okay. And then we're going to, we'll animate them. And uh, we'll call it a day. Okay, so everybody save your work. Get up, get a bend, get a stretch. And we'll see you in the next one.